greetings all. So I want to do a quiz on GCDs. It's the method of uh, the Euclid's method. So you, you do, I have to I'll emphasize it. It's Euclid, Euclid's algorithm, the Euclidean algorithm. They also say uh, to find the GCD. Also, so because we want two things, we want to find the GCD, but we also want to write the GCD as a linear combination of the originals, what is so-called the Bezu form. Okay, so I want you to do both, and um, this algorithm takes care of the whole thing. So let's look at two uh, examples. I don't make them. I don't make them too big. Although the numbers might be a bit sound a bit big, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a lot of work. So six thousand nine hundred forty. And 640. Okay, what's the GCD of these two numbers? Now you could try to factor these numbers and you can get an answer that way. It's time consuming, but it can be done. It still doesn't give you the Bezu form. So let's do the, the Euclidean algorithm. And so step one, it's the step, the forward step is you divide the biggest by the smallest. So let's see, bring my calculator up here. Yeah, I cannot embed the calculator into my screen, but that's not really necessary, right? So 6940 divided by 640, that's 10, .10 and a bit, so 10 and a bit. So this is this would be then 6400, and so what is we missing? Uh, a 540, okay? So that's the remainder. So remember, I'm going to not color anymore, I'm just going to circle my numbers. I do this. In this, in this step, it's not really necessary, it's in the backward step that it is very important to separate the numbers that you use in the various steps, the, the original two numbers and then the various remainders that appear that way, and uh, because to work back. So here, so we now have to use, it's always these two that we use in the next line, okay? Uh, so this goes there at one time and what is missing is 100. Okay, so we do now 540 and 100. We do the division algorithm on these two. Well, that's 5 times 100 plus 40. You see the numbers, although big, are not so hard to work with. And then we have 100 divided by 40. Well, we can do the 2 times 40. That's 80, and we have 20 left, right? Okay, we have 20 left. And then we do 40. That is 2 times 20 and 0 left. So this means, this means what, sorry, I shouldn't circle this anymore, if you get a zero here, this zero with, uh, no, sorry, I don't want to circle it like that way, a zero here means that this is the GCD, the one that you got before, so this is a GCD, okay, so this, this line we don't really use in the backwards uh, form, and so backwards, uh, let me, allow me to move this a little bit up here that I can, a little bit more space, okay. So, um, what do we have? Well, we start at the back here. The GCD is uh, 100 minus 2 times 40, right? I bring the 40 always to the other side. So that that's what in the backwards there's two steps really. You 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 sep you uh, solve for this. Uh, sorry, not that one. The, you solve for these remainders uh, by bringing the the other part over. Okay, and then you simplify, of course, in the first step there is no simplification, and then, so we take care of this one, and now we use 40, or again in the same way that I just said, by replacing, to, to replace the 40 that we have here, okay. So, this is equal to 100, circled, minus 2 times, and what is that 40? Well, that is 540, minus 5 times 100, okay. But, now you see that there are two we, we only, in each case, we want a combination of two circled numbers, and here are three circled numbers because two are the same, so we're going to combine these. Always be, be on the lookout for the coefficient here and this coefficient, they multiply together. So this is minus 2 times minus 5, it's 10, and here, of course, is a 1, so altogether 11. That's very important to not make a mistake here. And then we get minus 2 times 5, 40. Because uh, we have now seen in today's lecture, not only... Okay, if you make a mistake, you make a mistake, not a big deal. But later on, we're going to use this, for instance, if you solve a congruence or if you want to do the Chinese remainder theorem and later on even in cryptography. If you make a mistake, then the rest of the problem is also wrong. So we have to be always very diligent 
to do this correctly. Okay, so we use this one. So now this allows me to rewrite 100 as 640 minus 540. And then we also still have the minus 2 for 540. So this is uh, 11 times 640. Uh, and then we have a minus 11, minus 2, so minus 13 times 540. Okay. Finally, we have this 540 that we can now replace. That is 11 times 640 minus 13 times. And what is that? 6940 minus 10 times 640. So if we combine all this, we have the 640s. We have an 11 in front and in the back we have 130. 130 so 141 141 times 640 uh, minus 13 times 6940 now this is equal to 20 that's what it says right we can always check this 141 times 640 that is this is this number is 90,240 using a calculator and the other one 13 times 6940 is 90,220. 90, so the difference is exactly 20 as predicted. Okay, so that is what I want you to do here. So I'll write the answer again. 20 is equal to 140 times 640 minus 13 times 6940. That is the, this is the Bizu form, right? This is what I mean with the Bizu form. Of course, in, in, if we write it down, we don't actually circle the numbers anymore. Okay. Uh, well, step one and step two, sorry, step two, this was step two, right? When we will start working back upwards, I didn't label it anymore. Okay, do, let me do one more. It's, it's the same, but just so that you see um, another one behind here. So let's calculate the GCD of 1140 and 522. Okay, so we do 1140 uh, divided by 522. I think it goes in there twice, right? 522 times 2, that's 1044. I oh, know, it only goes there once. Uh -huh. Okay, so 1140 minus 522 is no. Uh, sorry, 522 times 2 is 1044. Yeah. So that's 1044, this number, 1044. And so what we're missing is 104. Uh, no, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, no, 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 96, 96, right, right, 96. Uh, I better do it with my calculator because uh, yes, 96. So that's 96. All right, let's get rid of these guys. So we do it again. Uh, the two last two numbers, 522 and 96. I think that will be probably five times, right? 96 times 5, that is 480. So what I'm, what I'm still missing is uh, 42. Okay, all right. All right, let's repeat this. Um, 96 and 42, well, I can do 242, that is 84, and then I'm missing a 12. Okay, then I do 42 and 12, let's see, um, four, three times, that's 36 plus 6. Okay, and then finally I do 12 and 2 times 6 plus remainder 0. So this tells me that this guy is the GCD, okay? So 6 can is equal to 42 minus 3 times 12. That's uh, from this equation that's done. I use this one to replace 12. So 6 is equal to 42 minus 3 times 96 minus 2 times 42. Okay, that means that 6 is equal to... Uh, 142 on, on, the on the left and on the back here I have a plus 6, so it's altogether 7 times 42 minus 3 times 96. Okay, so I'm now using 42, then this becomes 6 times uh, 522 
minus 5 times 96 and uh, minus 3 times 96. Okay, don't forget that there's always two terms, right? And then we have to combine them again. So this is, let me get rid of a little bit of this bulk. Uh, I can make it a little bit narrower here, right? Okay, so this is equal to uh, 6 times 522. And then we have, we have a minus 30 and a minus 3. So minus 33 times 96. And finally, we're going to use this 96 here, so that is 6 times 522 minus 33 times uh, 1140 minus 2 times 522. Okay, that is 6 uh, there and um, 66 there, so 72 times 522 minus uh, 33 times 1140. Okay, just double checking that, that we didn't make a mistake. 72 times 522. This number is 37584 and 33 times 1140 is 37720 and the difference is not 12. Uh, what did I do wrong? Okay, sorry, let me recalculate everything. 72 times 522, 37584, okay, and 33 times 1140, 3760. Okay, so I made a mistake somewhere, let's find it quickly. Um, okay, so um, this minus 3, okay, then this minus 3 times this 2, this is 2 here, minus 3, that's 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, okay, 7 minus 3. Oh, I, I, I wrote a 6 here and it was a 7. Why did you guys tell me? I, I, you were telling me, I'm sure, you were screaming, Professor, Professor, what are you doing? Okay, so 7 here, so this also means, that, that doesn't change the 7. Um, this 7 still doesn't change, but now it changes, right, so now we have... Uh, 66 plus 7 uh, yes 66 plus 7 is 73 okay 73 okay yes so now again so 73 times 522 that is 3 this is now 3,806 and I still okay. Let's let's see here. I don't know what I did. So six and one is seven, and this is now three. So I have a se oh okay yeah of course I, this numbers also change. Sorry sorry sorry. Okay so right this is of course not minus thirty three now. Okay so these numbers are also wrong. Okay so these numbers are wrong. Let's let's do these numbers again. Okay so at this point it is correct, but now. Um, we have a 7 here, and now it, multiplying the 7 with minus 5 is minus 35, minus 38. Okay. You see, that's how you check your mistakes, right? That's how you see that you have mistakes, because the end does not give you the promised 12, the GCD. Uh, so 6, actually, the GCD is 6, even. Okay. All right. So uh, this is correct now. So now I just have to copy these numbers, 38. What happens now? Okay, so this is now a 7 and also uh, 38 plus 38, so this is a 76, so this is 83, and that number is 38. Okay, hopefully this time we get a bit better result, and if not, we keep finding the correct one. 83 times 522, that's 43326, and then 38 times 1140, that is 43320. Aha. And you see the difference, of course, is the promised 6. So this time we know that we're correct. And you see how um, a, a single mistake here, uh, this was actually not a calculation error, it was just a copy error. So there's two things. You can miscalculate something, you can copy something, but it carries over, right? It, it gets worse and worse because these numbers are, we, we keep, we use these numbers constantly to make the new numbers. And so <clears throat> these, these two numbers are going to be completely different if you make a mistake somewhere on the road. Even with one of them, 
it, it permeates and becomes all uh, wrong. <clears throat> That's why these numbers are not easy to find. Right? It really needs a very careful going through this process uh, backwards. Okay, now that you see me uh, recover from the mistake, you hopefully will do that on the quiz too. Of course, you can have a calculator, right? So this, everything can be checked easily. These are not huge numbers. This is, can all be easily done with a calculator. So, but make, don't forget on the quiz, show me all the details. In other words, show me as well this part, as well the back calculation. You don't have to write it this way if you can write it underneath here, but don't forget any steps. Okay, it helps perhaps. I see some of you do this. It's very nice if you if you number your lines and then say this is used line two. I'm using this line. I'm using this line. Helps me uh, read what you're saying better. But more importantly, it helps you structure your own ideas better and it's, it's particularly helps you recover from mistakes that you make. Then you don't see I recover my mistake. I didn't have to erase everything. Right, that's that's sometimes also what if if you keep getting the wrong answer then. Erase the whole thing and start anew, because sometimes you, you, the numbers that you, this, uh, this auto, su su auto suggestion that you see this number two, you say, oh, it has to be two, right? Because I see a two, and this is sometimes why we cannot recover from an error if we don't erase everything. But only do that if, if, if you cannot recover uh, just by finding the little mistake and, and working it out again. Okay, all right.